think I'm swimming upstream here all of a sudden. Yeah, but, uh, second half when people said Tom Bernanski's not a second half player. I think the only, the, the only thought that I can really pull from this whole year was that everybody kept saying, when are these people going to produce? When is the nucleus going to win? Well, baby, we've done it. We won. That's it. Monkey off our back. Bruno, can you grab your library? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, you know, these guys have been great to me. They took me into their arms and I got called up and they were real comfortable. I'm so happy to be a part of the Minnesota Twins right now. This is a big year for you too. You win the World Series, you're getting married pretty quick. Right? Yeah, I'm getting married in less than two weeks, so I'm getting two rings on my finger in 87. Nice going, Gene Larkin. Here's another guy that made it happen. Way to go. Jeff Reardon, congratulations. Thanks a lot. I, I don't know how to, what to say or anything. It's the happiest I've ever been in my career. Let's go back again and talk about the beginning of the year because you started there with Montreal and at the time, tell the people what you what you knew about the Minnesota Twins. I really didn't know anything about the Minnesota Twins. I had to wait till we got the spring training and do a lot of reading on the guys because I really never followed the American League. Once I got over here in spring training, I felt like we had a chance. Yeah, you were talking about some of the bats on this Twins team, but uh, I'll tell you what, a lot of people are going to be talking about a few of the arms here. A great job by you throughout the entire season, even though you had a rough go there for a while, but you turned around and made things work. Yeah, like I said, everyone clicked together. You had 24 guys out there really fighting hard. And that's why I think we're world champions right now. You're a pitcher. You know what it's like to have to go on a little bit of rest. What about Frank Viola's performance tonight? Oh, he was unbelievable. You know, I thought maybe TK was going to leave him in the ball game, but after eight innings, you know, three days rest, he just called out a ball. Hey, hey. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 Every place I go, you know, they want your autograph, they want this. It's fantastic. That's what winning's all about. It, it, what it did is for the whole city, it just brought everybody, it made everybody feel good about themselves. And that's what winning's all about. Thanks very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Everybody, and I'd like to share that with everybody, but you know, it's a great honor for me personally. You talked about seeing nothing but the catcher's men after game one. What did you see? Well, game one, Okay. This is uh, feasible. Oh, 
say what they say what they want about the dome but uh, you know we had to go out there and perform we were able to do that may i say this you know i've told you a million times we've only been around you all week but you guys never really were that down when you lost three in a row and you kept saying hey we're going back and i want the i want the ball for game seven well, i wanted as often as possible uh we had no pressure on us all year we weren't expected to go anywhere you know let alone get to the world series you know, if you approach it that way you have fun you have loose and you, know, you be loose but yeah, let's repeat that. You have fun and you lose, good things are going to happen. That was the case. We didn't get down on ourselves. And, you know, when you when you stay on a positive note, good things are going to happen. You are beautiful. Thanks, my <laughs> Thank you. Ballpark thing, just become more, rather than the configuration of the ballpark, just a confidence thing like that. Oh, uh, it's got to help us. When you hear some of the things that people say about yeah. it, you know, there's no question that, uh, you know, if they paint the dome, it might make a difference to the ballpark, but how yeah. many times a year? Right, I mean, it's just... Those four games we beat them here, I don't think the ballpark had anything to do with it. Could you ever imagine a thing in sports where a team could get uh, such a confidence level in a, in a no, situation? No, I would never thought that. You know, my first couple of years in the big leagues, I hated this place. I couldn't get nobody, anybody out. But uh, you do, you do adjust to the environment. And the thing I was able to do was learn the situation. And I had to learn. I had better stuff than I give myself credit for when I worked in here. And that made all the difference in the world. How did you know you had one? <laughs> when the last out was made, I don't take anything for granted. What did Tom Kelly say to you after the eighth inning? It looked like that, that was one of his toughest decisions of the year to take me out. But he said he'd, he'd feel worse. He's the man you want out there to close the door. And that was the case tonight. He went out there and he established himself and did the job. What adjustments did you make after the second inning? Well, I tried making him hit the ball in the good part of the back. No, no. <laughs> um, it looked like they were sitting back on my change ups. And I went more fastball than him. I got some champagne in my That's champagne. Okay. Other than that, I haven't been crying. No, I had a couple, couple of my kids and my clubhouse kids were in the dugout with me after the last out and a couple of bat boys and they were upset and crying a little bit and I stayed with them and sat with them and, and hugged them and, uh, and uh, we told we all watched together. We all watched the players jump up and down together. No, I'm all right. Why didn't you run out? That's just never been your style. I, I don't do that. I, it's very enjoyable for me to sit there and just watch the players. I, you, you have to go through it or experience it yourself to understand it. And I don't expect anybody else to understand it. That's just me. That's what I like to do. I, it's very enjoyable for me to watch the players. And I'm going to go home and see it on the replay, and I'm going to watch it about five or six more times. Did you ever feel that close at all to just uh, the emotion overwhelming you, though? 
you were always I was real happy for uh, my coaches, uh, especially Wayne Terwilliger, 62 years old, been in baseball all his life. Uh, he's never been on a winner or associated with a winner. I was very happy for him. Uh, very rewarding for a man like this, as hard as he works and the condition he keeps himself in to work with these guys and these infielders and keep throwing batting practice day in and day out. Very happy for a man like this and uh, he's, he's great to work with. He sets up all the defenses, he positions the players. Uh, he did a great job for me and I'm very happy for these kind of people and, and to sit and, and just be with them and when the celebration happens. Tommy, can you talk a little bit about the effort you got out of Frank Pyle? Frank, he did an outstanding job. He had the, got the ball up in the strike zone in the second inning. Late hit a good pitch that was down in the strike zone, but the, the other three hits were all up. Dick Such talked to him and with Timmy Loudner in the dugout after the second inning, trying to get the ball down on a little better angle. And he made the adjustment. He did a good job after that. He got near the seventh inning. We thought he got tired. He started looking in the dugout a little bit and shaking his arm. He walked around the mound. All signs of that he's had enough. Uh, Lake was the first hitter in the eighth inning. We just tried to, we wanted Frankie to pitch to Lake because by bring Reardon in, he's going to march one of them lefties up there. And uh, it was a one run game at a time, at the time. So we wanted Frankie to pitch to, to Lake. He did a good job with Lake. We went one hitter at a time from there. He got through the eighth. Reardon gets the ball in the ninth. That's the way we did it all year. Reardon gets the ball in the ninth inning. That's all there is to it. I told Frankie I was very proud of him. He did an outstanding job tonight as well as all season. He, you know, Frankie, that I give the ball to Reardon in the ninth inning. That's why we got him here. Reardon gets the baseball. He wanted to go back out for the ninth, but I, I had my mind made up that Jeff's going to get the ball in the ninth. Is it possible at all to put into words how intense the game was? Well? It was an outstanding ball game. I hope the people around the country enjoyed it. Uh, the Cardinals played an outstanding ball game. Stealing bases. The only thing that didn't happen today was a big one. I'm really real glad there wasn't any big one for us in the night winning against the Don't look this way. Don't look this way. Hold up your turn. <laughs> I told her if we won the World Series, she could come in the dressing room. <laughs> Who's got, where this is, way, uh, please. This where way, is please. somebody with a bottle of champagne to pour over Ellen? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I got an empty bottle. The hair is bad enough. No. <laughs> Hello, Mike. This way. Yeah. I'll have to get uh, yeah. Frank to pour over. World I gotta get the Somebody over here to This dress is going. Hold up your shirt. Oh, hi, you can't wear anything Stay in the shower. Oh, He's stuck in the shower. You'll be sorry. He's stuck in the shower. Stay in the shower. Yeah. Come on, Smith. How are you doing? Here's a little more soap. All the parts of these guys can hit, so it's great. You look like somebody likes them one flavor. So, so they're up above, it's alphabetical. Houston, Los Angeles, Dodgers. Dodgers is missing. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all, huh? Dodgers? Only a piece of gold, but it stands for a lot. Weezy. Just put it in my office. All right. All right. Okay, we're Weezy. All right. Okay. Turn it this way. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get one of those? You bet. Okay. No problem. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 See, I got the 
Have you ever heard or seen anything like this, the partisanism that these folks will show towards the twins? I tell you what, these, these people are great, man. They're the greatest fans in the world, man. And, uh, I tell you, I really don't know what else to say, but uh, it's been a great year, man. It's been full of, uh, we all had to overcome a lot of adversity, and so we did it all, man. We did it all by just taking it one day at a time and doing the best you can. That's how we got here. Congratulations. Thank sir. you, sir. <laughs> Have you made up your mind going up to that plate that you were going to go right at Well, I'm, I'm thinking it's boxing. You know, I thought he was going to be a fastball to hit first pitch. So I just tried to just hit the ball where it was pitched. I mean, he threw me a fastball away, and I was just fortunate enough to drill into right center. But uh, I tell you, man, it's been a great year, and you have to give the Cardinals a lot of credit, man. They, you know, they didn't get here. They, they, they didn't deserve to be here. They wouldn't be here. Yeah. A lot of people call them punch and the club or whatever, but uh, they say what they want. They're a good club, and... And uh, we, we were just better than them today, that's all. Did it enter into your thinking at all you were going to face a guy who's working on only two days rest? Yeah. And that's that's pretty unusual for a pitcher. Well, that, that really had nothing to do with it because I knew Todd Cox was going to come in. He was going to try to be tough. I think what he tried to do is get ahead of me with a fastball uh -huh. and then uh, go with the uh, breaking pitches after that. But I was ready on deck. And I said I was going to go up there and try to get a good pitch to hit and try to drive it somewhere. And I was forcing him to drive it in the gap. Okay, hey, buddy, you got it. Thanks, sir. Okay. First off, congratulations. I know it's been a long, long wait, but uh, describe your feelings right now. Well, it's something you know you, you wait for all your life, and like, when you get there, and you, know, you got two outs in the ninth inning with Ridden on the mound, and uh, when he hit that ball to the, to the rat, you know he's going to catch it. You know everybody's going to catch it, and he gets over there, and it's just it's, it's hard to explain. I mean, you go to spring training and you wait for this moment. You know, I've been waiting for 20 years, it's probably a lot longer than anybody else. But, you know, I would like to play more than that, but just being a part of the ball club, it's you know there's 20, what 24 other ball clubs sitting home watching on TV and be part of it. It's a great feeling. You've been involved in baseball for a lot of years. You've seen an awful lot of great ball games. How does this one compare? I tell you, for the seventh game of the World Series, I thought it was a pretty good ball game. You know, you had close plays at home play, you had controversial plays at first base, you had good defense to play, you had timely hitting, and you had some uh, good pitching. So, you know, it, it's everything you'd want in the seventh game of the World Series rather than the 10-1 route or something like that. But, uh, you know, we come out on top, and it's the most important thing. What about next year? Will you be back? Well, I got one more year on my contract, and, uh, you know, they say come down to Orlando, I'll do that. All right, thanks very much. Thank you.